Everywhere we go, everywhere we go, the people want to know, the people want to know, who we are, who we are, where we come from, where we come from. So we tell them, so we tell them, we are the union, we are the union. The family union, the family union, community union, community union. Dad worked hard. He worked on the farm, he worked on the docks. He was our introduction to the waterfront. He was our introduction to work, the value of work. Three long show in the same house, me, you, and Dad. <laughs> I remember times that Dad came into the house and just dropped in a chair. It was hard backbreaking work, and you know, and as you know, um, it was blacks who were recruited to do that kind of work. Even back in the 40s, they were editorial. Colored longshoremen wanted ply at Union Pier. For me, it's a big thing to say we are part of organized labor, the place that imported more enslaved Africans than any place in, in, in this country. We were the cargo on the ships that came into the harbor. And now we control the cargo coming through here. And that is such an awesome charge of responsibility. My dad used to always say that thing, do you know the man? Do you know the man? Do you know the man from Galilee? And that boy in the hose, yes, I know the man. Yes, I know the man. But that's what they did. In order to make the work go easier, easier. I started out here in 1960. I have had a lot of positions while I was here. We had an issue with cars. You could not put gas in cars to drive on the ship. You had to pick it, put it up in a sling. Four men down there stowing it. One man driving, three men change it, put it around. So I try my best to be the driver <laughs> because you would stare it, and if you can stare it where the motor would be able to be in place, then the other three men would walk it over sure. by, by singing a song, one, two, three. And they shift the car over till they got it in the right spot, just like a parking lot. I mean, 1869 is when we uh, formed our first union. That's the uh, Longshore Protective Union. Yes. You know, 1869, a, yes. a, a yes. black man couldn't couldn't walk down the streets in Charleston, yes. you know, and hold his head up and look a, 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 a white person in the eye, you know? But That's on these true. docks, we form a union. We form a union. Yes. And then when we got with the ILA in 1936, our first president mm -hmm. of Local 1422 was such a visionary because Wow, man, you know what I mean? Who would have, would have thought 86 years later, yes. you know what I mean, we would be still here? We are the largest, the largest and the oldest organized labor force in the state of South Carolina. I started out here when I was 14 years old, and now I'm 68 years old, and I think of nothing. I don't even think about retiring or going anyway, you know? My father was Benjamin Flowers Sr. He came in a long line of great men that helped build this union. Hopefully 40 years from now, our grandchildren are gonna be here working these dogs. I mean, it's a good, solid, proud, honest day's work. When a stone makes up in Africa, it follows the spirit. And each stone that hits South Carolina, when you go down to the docks, you can feel the spirit. And it seems like your hair want to rise. This has never been just a job. This has been a cause. And that's what drives me. That's what motivates me. We represent work, fair pay, and that work is a leverage to better things. We impact the food chain, the supply chain.
you name it, we unpack it. We move the world economy. We, we describe it in several ways. But the truth is, it's, that's a 360 uh, turn of involvement. I want to give God thanks for Local 1422. I love this union. This is the best job in the world anyone could have.